uh, how not to get taken down. Uh, if I'm striking, if I'm standing, if someone shoots in on me, they, they're either going to shoot low or they're going to shoot high. So, so they're going to shoot for like a double leg, that's for the legs, or they're going to shoot for the body. Uh, so I'll do a few th different ways on how not to get taken down. Okay. Uh, if you break it down, if he goes to come in on me, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use one hand. So my stance is going to be like this. I'm going to use one hand here, one hand here, or two hands. We call it quick tap. I use one forearm here, one forearm here, or quick tap. That's what the forearms. I drop my head level, so I block my head in my hands. So I block my head in my hands. And the last thing I would do would be sprawl. It would be just like this, or just like that. Okay. All right, so if he starts to shoot in, look okay. at I keep my hand here. One more time. Now I know he can still snag my leg. That's okay. When he comes up, he stands up. Okay. So when he gets control of it, I've got to control it. One more time. Boom. Now if he's got my leg, stand up. No, with my leg. Okay. He's got my leg. What I've got to do from here is I've got to pull from here and either stuff his head if he's lifting his head up, then I push his head up and I pull this back down. If he's got a good hold on my leg here, what I do, if he's got it, maybe he'll have two hands like this. What I'll do is I'll jump on his leg. Sorry, jump on his leg and take his, his leg. Alright, so again, he shoots one hand. Okay? This will allow me to punch or hit. And this will allow me to, to keep space. He shoots in see a circle. Yeah, this is a quick shot, a quick shot. Okay. If he shoots in again, quick tap is two hands. That will give you the big knee. Yeah. So quick tap turns into your knee. Okay. Far again, so quick tap. As I quick tap here, this will allow me to shoot my shot. So as he drops and shoots, bah, watch this. This is just a quick shot here, a quick shot here. If he keeps coming, snap his head. Okay, watch again. Drop, he keeps coming, I snap his head. See how I turn his head down? Slow motion. Just tap him, he keeps coming, look at I scoop his head. And as I scoop the head, I want to I want to go here, and I want to scoop his tricep too. Okay? Uh, another thing I'll do is I'll peg him off. So he starts to shoot, I punch right in front of the face, so slow motion. Which it would actually be like this. Okay? Don't punch through him because you'll miss. And when I do it, I go whoop, and my elbow drops back down. If I jab, my elbow drops back down. So if he throws a big right cross, see, look at Easy to take down. If he punches him and snaps and brings it back and drops it, again, look at This is what's stopping you. Push, push, push. Like that. So if he shoots, go. My hands are coming back. Keep coming. Snap his head. Okay. All right. That's number one. Uh, number two is your forearms. So he shoots. My forearm hits. That's going to be a quick knee. So he shoots in. Whoop. And knee. Drop. Knee. Drop. Knee. And drop. And quick knee. Drop. Okay, now, the last one is I use my hand again. He shoots. Look at this. See, so I push him out again. I push his head up. Or I push his head up. Push his head, and there's your kick to the face. Bounce, and there's your kick. Push, there's your kick. Okay. And uh, if he shoots, okay, keep going. I drop and pick his head up. Slow motion. Take his head up. Take his head up. Okay. So these are a few ways. Now, the head level, as soon as he drops, I drop with him. He starts to shoot. Boom. My head stops him. Okay. He can't take me down once my head's here. So he's got to stand back up. Good. That will allow me to shoot back on him. So, if I stop him from shooting like that.
back. Oh uh, yeah, this is true. I stop. Okay, he's going to start to stand up. That's going to be the reshuffle. It's called shoot, reshoot. So he shoots, stop him. He starts to back up, stands back up, oh my, reshoot. Okay, easiest way to take someone down. Block them, shoot. Second way is, is for me. I drop, he stops me, boom. I back up and then I reshoot again. Okay. So, uh, if I drop to shoot, he stops me, I stand halfway and then I get Another thing I'm gonna do is hook his leg. So, if I drop to shoot, I come in and hook his leg. That's easy. Okay, all right. So four, four things that will stop him. Hand, hand, hands. Forearm, forearm, forearms. Head. And the last would be hips. If he shoots in on me, look at this, I hit into him, hip into him. Hip in. Number one, hip in, hip forward, and then do it again. Notice so how I lift him up. I lift him up for a second. Let's see what we can Second way, when he shoots into me, hips down, hips down. And if, let's say he's down, put your knees in. Okay, come up to your knees. Let's say he's got my leg. My hip's got to be on the mat, and I just stay square on him. He has both of my knees. Both of my hips are on the mat, my hips and my legs are back. Uh, if I have control, you never want to be wide, you always want to keep these back and to them, keep your hips on. So if he goes here, I just keep my hip weight on, weight on him. Okay, if he goes both legs, I just keep my weight on him here. I'll be pulling this out as much as I can. Okay. If he shoots, come on. I just pick him up. Cycle baby, again. <coughs> I guess you pick him right up. That's going to give me his side. He can head, he'd probably try to headlock me. That's going to give me his back. And it's easy for me to take him down. So, if he shoots, just drop him, pick him up. Like that. He had an arm to already on his back. Uh, one of the best takedowns, there's a bunch of them. I can step. Yep. <clears throat> On his back. I can go from here. I can just pop him and drop him. On his back, I can just foot sit, drop him. On his back, once you get it back, you foot, you switch, you drop him. I'm on his back. I can follow the shape. If I'm on his back, I can drop and drop and take his back. And if I'm on his back, I can also just jump up and work the choke right from there. And if I'm on his back, So if he shoots, notice over his head as I grab his chin, 
I underhook, I hip to hip, and just turn him. And then look it and lift this. If I lose it, it doesn't matter. Step and look. Okay. Again, I was here, I lost it. Forearm, step, and arm lock. If he turns it, spinning arm lock. He shoots, I stop him, and I reshoot. Put him down on his hip, as we throw. So again, you have under, double under, and then over and under. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe. And hit the little bell for notifications if you like the video, this one, and more like it.